It's an artful day in the heart of May in 2015 to meet a poet worlds apart and share his whisperings of hidden realms at Mount Stuart is where we set the scene. And today the art show's own Mary Louise was told she'd need to hush her heels for fear of crushing fairy tales that sing beneath her feet. For here is housed the stuff of dreams, the genius of art, it seems, sings from every smoothly sculpted nook, in every wall, on every book, and pretty thing, as if in entering this rare dwelling, we might find wings. And see, reflected within its elegance, our own forgotten souls again. As a child, I came to know this place, always loved the quiet grace of its paintings, thought nymphs and fairies must live in the swaying shapes of its gardens. This lass called Alice was entranced as nature and art embraced to dance in the closest thing to wonderland that I had ever experienced. The hidden creak of a secret door led me to horses, stags and fawns. Enchanted frogs in the lily pad pond and every which way to get lost in this labyrinth. In its deep heart's core, I'd climb the winding stair for more clues to something that seemed to breathe with its own life unseen to me, as if within its corridors were countless stories. From Mount Stuart's peak, holding more than just my memories, but some sacred greatness here before me. And what was it? That gentle song about a honeybee, it may have whispered in my ear, though seemingly a dream. Decades have passed since childhood games, and I've been wandering to find that place, that bee loud glade, that not forgotten thing. The poet's voice for which I've craved led me from tower to forest to lake reading and feeling I needed to take soft steps in these places that carry the weight of that giant defiant against the bait of time. That master of divine reckoning, of sweet incantations that seem to sing off the page. Of course, I speak of the late, great Yeats. And so I return to where I began, to celebrate that great poetic man and reunite with green mossed trees, let my dress get dirty with memories, to unfade grass stains, awake from sleep, this fertile earth beneath my feet, I call on him to come to me. I find myself in a library. Mere mortals should not touch for fear of brushing off fairy dust, but I wish to open just one book, like his own wish to look on heaven's cloths. Among his odes, a note handwritten by the poet to Lady Londonderry, W.B. Yeats. Mm -hmm.